Today I'm going to show you how Softrun CRM can help you setting up your workflow with very minimal effort. With this workflow, you can design your own workflow and determine how your leads and opportunities traverse from one stage to the other. Incidentally, only the admin has the privileges of creating a workflow. To configure a lead workflow under Settings, click on Workflows. Then click on Leads Customers Workflow. Here is where you can customize your workflow. By default, we have given this a name of Leads and Customer Workflow. But you can change it to whatever you like and whatever fits your business model. Below are the stages for this workflow, from cold lead to customer. To add additional stages, simply click on the plus sign here, and you can type your new stage. I am going to add a stage called 18-day trial. So I type it in and click Save. So now, I'd like them to do this 18-day trial before they become a customer. So I'd like to move this to where it's more appropriate. Every stage can be edited by clicking on the pencil. So here, I'm going to change 18-day trial to 28-day trial. You can remove any stage by clicking on the X button and clicking OK. So we're going to remove 28-day trial. I'll click on the X button and it has been removed. Each stage has a different type you could set up as well. If you don't see the type section here, go ahead and click Show Types in the top of our screen. This is where you can show types for any stage and edit them or remove them. So here I'm going to click on the stage for Lead. To add an additional type, I simply click on the plus and add a type of my own. I'm going to add one and I'm going to call it conference. And then click OK. Similarly, you can remove the type by clicking the X button and click OK. For every type, there are different tasks associated with it. So here you can add edit or delete the tasks for each type as well. So I'm going back to this referral type. I'm going to click on the plus sign and add a new task name. So here I'm going to use research. And I'm going to click save. So research should be done at the very beginning, so I'm going to drag and drop it to the beginning of the types. You can edit any task by clicking on the pencil. So I'm going to click on set an appointment and change that to set a phone appointment. And I'll click Save. Once you have your workflow set up, click on the Save button and click OK. That is how you customize your leads workflow. Let me show you how this will look in your records view. So we'll go back to our home screen and click on Leads and Customers. This will display all of your leads. So I'm going to select the lead. You will see to the left a group of icons for actions you can take for that lead. I'm going to click on C for Convert. This will convert my lead to the next stage in our workflow. This box tells me 
that the next stage in the workflow is follow-up. Make sure this box is checked to apply the workflow. And then hit convert. And OK. Now, let me show you how you can create the workflow for your opportunities as well. So we'll go back to our home page and click on workflows and click on opportunity workflow. Here you will notice that the screen is similar to your leads workflow. You can add using the plus sign, remove by using the X, and edit using the pencil. You can also click to drag and drop and move them around. The only difference with the opportunity workflow is that you can define the probability for each stage. So at the bottom right, you'll notice there is a percentage for each stage. This is your probability. If we click it, we can change it. For example, we can change the probability from 50 to 60. The probability value should have increased and now you will also see that from left to right, your probability should also increase from 30 to 60 to 100. So this is how you define your opportunity workflow. If you have additional questions, click on the Help button where you can insert your question and send us a message.